follow up now to the ransomware attack on New Bedford's computer system this summer. As we reported last night, the mayor revealed the hacker was demanding millions from the city. But New Bedford is not alone. Cities across the country have been targeted of ransomware. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian spoke with the Rhode Island State Police about this growing problem. She joins us now with what she's learned. Kim? Well, Shannon and Mike, I reached out to municipalities across our coverage area today, and most that I spoke with say they have not been the victim of a ransomware attack. But they did all say the same thing, that they are now taking precautions to make sure if it does happen, they're ready. New Bedford experienced a ransomware attack. New Bedford Mayor John Mitchell says hackers demanded more than $5 million in July, his city falling victim to what's known as ransomware, malicious software used to hold data and information hostage until a sum of money is paid. It's our largest cybersecurity issue both uh, for private industry and for government right now. Lieutenant Eric Yell of the State Police Computer Crimes Unit says there's been an uptick in ransomware attacks on municipal governments this summer. New Bedford did not pay the ransom, but it was a different story for Coventry Public Schools. Their insurance company shelled out an estimated $200,000 to hackers. Newport Schools and Pawtucket Fire also fell victim to ransomware this summer. Yell says four Rhode Island municipalities have called police to report attacks so far. Ransomware that we've been seeing this summer has been laying dormant for a couple months before it activates. So we think there might be somebody downloading malware onto the system, they're gathering credentials, and then that way they can hit the network and lock up the whole network in one shot. So it's possible right now that there are other municipalities out there who might have this sort of lying dormant under the surface and not even know. Yes. And Yell says most ransomware comes from overseas hackers in the form of a phony business email with a link to malware. The best thing folks can do, double check all of those links before clicking on them and always back up your files. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.